yes, employability is very important. I think all archaeology departments everywhere are concerned with this kind of thing, and Southampton especially so. We have a, an officer who's dedicated to uh, the employability side of things for postgraduates, one of my colleagues, William Davis. We are constantly thinking about the job market and about how things are changing in higher education. So our postgraduate programmes are designed to cover as many of the possibilities. And I think there are two aspects that we could really look at. One is that if you come to do a postgraduate course at Southampton, the range of transferable skills that you get, just simply because archaeology is the kind of subject it is, so you have to be teamworking, but you also have to be you know, learning skills of solo, independent work and things like that. Um, these, I think, are the best kind of transferable skills you can get. As a postgraduate, obviously, you're going to be running at a higher level than an undergraduate. So that transferable skill level is going to be far more important and it's going to be going to stand you in better stead, I think. Uh, and the second thing I could probably go on about is the employability in archaeology itself. Now, I, again, I can speak only for my own personal graduates. Um, all of the PhD students, for example, I've taught, and a great many of the master's students have either gone on to do further archaeology in academia or have gone on um, to work outside of archaeology. And we find that our postgraduates are getting jobs in heritage industry. Uh, they're getting jobs in heritage tourism is becoming quite popular as well. Um, many of them go on to take a uh, a slightly different aspect to their careers and to take skills in practical subjects where things like say their GIS training or their surveying training that they've learned here in archaeology can be applied to other aspects uh, and in, in the world not necessarily to do with archaeology. Um, other, you could go into academia itself and there's museum work for example. Um, there's a wide variety of things that you can do and we found that Southampton graduates do get into most of these sort of areas.